Welcome to Give Me a Break, the show where the kids take control of the family holiday. Well, I'm completely kitted out for every eventuality, but how geared up will this week's brave parents be? Right, come on over, Ryan. Sit. Oh, no. On Give Me a Break, the kids have all the say. They decide where they go, what activities they do, and most importantly, they're in charge of the holiday rules. So let's find out which family are off on their travels. Meet the Shaw family. Boy Scout brothers, 13-year-old keyboard player Matt and 11-year-old drummer Jono. Super organised mum and golf-loving dad. So why should Matt and Jono be given a break? We always go on holiday in the UK in Cornwall and it's really boring on wet. It's easy to get to. You can just chuck everything in the car and get there. If we go for a day trip out, we go to mainly historic sort of houses. It's so boring. We've been to this one house eight times. I think the boys quite enjoy going round, having a look at the houses. They're as dull as ditch water. It's really ridiculous having to travel like 30 miles to see King Henry VIII, whatever the chair. Which was really good fun. I think everyone really enjoyed it. Dad's always reading the newspaper. I do like to spend some time relaxing. Uh, reading the paper on the beach. He reads it about ten times each day. Our mum always tells us what to wear and it's so annoying. People say that I'm quite organised and what it's do you true. think? You are super organised. Okay. Mum takes forever when she ever. goes shopping. You go on self-catering holidays. There's obviously lots of food that needs to be bought. She checks every price against the other brands. I'm always checking labels. She goes over to the butchers. Oh, hi, how are you today? And then the fishmonger, hi, how are you today? And obviously that takes time. Mum also absolutely hates heights. Heights I'm not very good at. She's been saying for years she wants to conquer her fear. I'm willing to try and conquer that fear. She never has. Mum and Dad have never taken us on an adventure holiday and I'd love to go on one because they never would. Lance, having listened to your woes about your rainy UK breaks, I think it's about time you had a change. Mum, Dad, are you ready to hand over all of the control to the guys? Yes. I guess so. Yes. Hands on hearts, please. Okay. It's time for the Gimme a Break. Here we, we go. Promise. We, the parents of Matt and Jono, hereby hand over control of the next family break. Super organised. Now it's our turn to organise things around here. Yeah, what they said. See ya. Oh no. So what is it like being in charge? Excellent. Feels really good. What do you think Mum's going to be feeling like? She's going to be a freak. That's a good thing, isn't it? Right, let's get down to business. What do you want from your break? Water sports and adventure. Sorry, I've just been distracted. Check this out. Go, Go away! Clear off! Cheeky, aren't they? Yeah. Is there anything you don't want? Not in the UK, because we always have our holidays in the UK. I think I've got everything I need there. That's enough to be going on with. Thank you. With that vital information in mind, I've found three smashing breaks. Let's find out if the boys can guess where they might be going from my set of mystery clues. Starting with break number one. Slap. Why is it on a rope? Is it a wire? Navigate north to the edge of the lake. Find more clues to decipher your break. North. Why is it between the two trees? Is it like a canyon? You know, like a um, highway. Yeah. If it's highways, I think it'll be really funny for Mum because she's quite scared of heights. North of the lake, the only that way. Can't see any clues. No. Oh look, there's a boat. Let's Come go on. pull it in. Yeah. And then we found a boat, and it had clues on it. A quest page, Mediterranean. It was a Spanish language on the card, so it could be something to do with Spain or a Spanish island. Catalonia. Catalonia is in Spain. Spain. Yeah. But there's a bed. Oh, it could be a cruise. We could be staying on it. Because that's why there's a bed. Yeah. Good detective work, boys. Let's go inside to see how you get on with break number two. When we walked through the door, it was a bit of a shock because we weren't really expecting the warm dancers. Don't be shy, boys. Fancy a go? Me and Matt decided that we'd have a go, but we weren't very good. Me and Jonathan were actually rubbish. <laughs> it could either be Cuba or Brazil because they have elaborate and colourful clothes and dresses when they dance. Maybe you'll have a better idea when you find the other clues. Oh, God. Yeah. Ascend the steps and have a taste. Can you guess where this food is based? What are the paddles for? They do lots of canoeing in Canada. You never know. Ascend the steps. It looks like a pie. Bring it down then. 
<laughs> We've got to give it a taste. This smells like Danish. I thought that the cake was from Canada, so I have a suspicion that it was meatloaf. I was so mm, You guess where it wasn't so hot that time, lads. See how you get on working out break number three. <laughs> we heard music, so we walked round and there was a dancing beaver. <laughs> dancing to Abba. He's calling us over. Yeah. Sugar? Nice moves, boys. I think this is more your style of dancing. It was really funny dancing with the beaver. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever do it again in my life. Ooh. You're a beaver. I'm beaver. Swedish. Yeah, so Swedish. Nature, oh. please. Yeah, it's not giving us any clues. Look, it's a campfire. What's it, that for? He could be camping. Yeah, nature place. Yeah, because of the beaver. Oh, he's pointing us this way. A golf, a golf ball. ball. To the pee. Golf ball. To the Look pee. under the golf, golf ball, ball, fellas. Tea. Golf tee. Teepee. Camping, camping in the teepee. Tea. In, in Sweden. Sweden or somewhere. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> You two, how did you enjoy looking for those clues? It was brilliant. It was really fun. How close do you think you are at working out what your breaks are? If. We're not very good. OK, break number one. What do you think? A cruise in Spain. You were half right. You were actually going on an adventure sailing trip along the coast of Catalonia, oh, if you pick oh, this one. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, I love all sorts Do you want to find person. a bit more? Yeah. yeah. Mum and Dad will need their sea legs as you'll be sailing up the coast of Catalonia on a luxury Whoa. yacht. Every day you'll anchor up to do action-packed oh, activities, sorry. including high ropes and snorkelling. Oh, that looks That's really good. Brilliant. That's almost perfect. Break number two, where did you think that might be? Canada, Cuba, Brazil, Brazil and France. You quite liked the cake, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I can tell you that was strudel. And did you like the waltz that you did? It was embarrassing. It's actually a Viennese waltz from the country Austria. Break number two is a mountain-based action adventure in Austria. You'll be staying lakeside with plenty of water sports on your doorstep. Mum will need to get her head for heights, as you'll also be trying your hand at climbing on this adrenaline fueled holiday. That what about that? Brilliant as well. Yeah. Let's chuck in break three then. What do you think? We thought it was a camping, camping in a teepee Sweden. in Sweden. Can you remember the animal that you were mucking about oh, yeah. with? Yeah. A beaver. Dancing beaver. Yeah. The break is a beaver safari in Sweden. Do you want to see more? Yeah. yeah. On this Swedish nature safari, you'll need to be eagle-eyed, spotting beavers from a canoe. <laughs> Let's hope Mum and Dad like the outdoors, as you'll be camping on an island in the middle of a lake. What do you think of that? Really that good. Brilliant. Mum and Dad would love the nature. Do you need me to go away whilst you have some thinking time? Yeah. I'll see you in a bit. I think they're really good. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I like to like the sports. Number one's got ball sports, which you really like. It's in like Spain. It looks really nice, like we can go where we want. So is it narrowed down to one and two? Yeah. Outside. Yeah. Hey, you two. Right, it's crunch time. Have you made your decision? I'm going for break number one. You're going to go on that yacht in Catalonia? Why did you go for that? Because it's just such a unique opportunity and you're never going to do it again. Excellent. Well, aye, aye, captains, consider that one well and truly booked. And I will pop up during your break on the laptop and give you the opportunity to win one final special prize. But if you get the questions wrong, your mum and dad will win. Uh oh. They won't. We won't. The shores are off to Catalonia in Spain. Will mum and dad be out of their depth or flying oh. sky high? <laughs> and who will win that final treat? It's the day before the shores leave for Spain and time to pack Mum and Dad's bag. I'm not sure if we trust the boys to pack everything that we're going to need for There's this no holiday. There's no sure about it. We don't trust the boys <laughs> to pack everything we need for the holiday. Geeky tie. Oh, nice hat. Back from going. He could be our family pet on boat. <laughs> I particularly like it packed neatly. 
I would hate it if the boys had just thrown everything into the case. They're never going to be able to find anything. Oh, it's a mess in there. The Shaw family are about to start their adventure. The boys have told Mum and Dad that they're off to Spain, but have kept the boat a secret. Spain is probably best known for its beaches, which the Shaw family will be seeing plenty of from their yacht. For Mum and Dad, this surprise is yet to come. We can finally tell you where you're going to be staying for the next week. Oh, this is it. Who's going to tell us? Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was just amazed. I saw this fantastic, beautiful, white, gleaming yacht. It's just amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> Mum and Dad are really pleased because they've never done it before and they're really looking forward to it. Nice. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> the yacht was really nice. It was nice and modern, which I really like. Yeah. I'm absolutely uh, over the moon with it. I'm really looking forward to setting sail. Pocket money rise. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Dad, you might change your mind when you see what the boys have packed for you. What have we got to survive on the holiday with? Perfect. We had a parrot in the bag and we were going to call it Polly, but we've decided we want Kirsten with us on this holiday, so we've renamed it Kirsten. Nice hat. This is my oh, hat. One. OK. And I see okay. your dress. Yes. Nice. Is there anything actually useful in here, or are we just going to do the clothes we've got? Dad, that's for you. That's for me as well, yeah. is it? Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Everything was screwed up as well. Have you not actually folded anything here? Can't you see? It's all beautifully packed. Some we have got points. some useful some things points. in here. I'm looking almost a nine and a half, ten out of ten, actually, because uh, everything I need is in there, but the quality of the packing, two out of ten. Tops, screwed up stuff. Seven, actually, out of ten, because on the whole, what they put in was good. I would let the boys pack again, but it might need an iron next time. Thank you very much for nice evening out. As captains of this ship, the boys are keen for Mum and Dad to hear what rules they've set. Ahoy there, Shaw family. I hope you've got your sea legs, because the boys have got some rules for you. Jono and Matt are fed up of you fussing with their appearance. So, <laughs> rule number one is that the boys choose what everyone wears. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's going to be really hard. That's going to be desperate. OK, next rule for Mum and Dad. Jono and Matt are fed up of seeing your heads buried in books and newspapers. <laughs> so, rule number two. There will be oh, no. no reading on this break. Hey. Another tough one. That is a Another hard tough one. one. Right, Mum, the boys are sick of hanging around because you take too long to do the shopping. So rule number three is the boys take charge of buying the food. I think I'm happier with that, actually, than being dressed by someone else. I'll give it a go. I must warn you that breaking the rules means consequences, so beware, Mum and Dad. Have a smashing sea adventure, family. I'll be popping up a little bit later with all the details about that treat. Bye for now. Bye, Bye Kirsten. Kirsten. Bye, Kirsten. Now that the rules are set, Matt and Jono want to get some supplies for the boat. The boys have control of the food and they've got a plan. Mum, you spend way too much time shopping on our holidays. We've decided to organise a little competition for you. Shop against the clock. <laughs> <laughs> you have ten minutes to find all these items. If you don't do it in ten minutes, there's a consequence. Fair enough. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's do Let's it. Go. Three, two, one, go. Go on. Bananas, bananas, bananas. I can't believe what the boys put on their list. It was just sweets and chocolate and all really unhealthy things. Chocolate salt, squirty crisps. Squirty crisps, you've got the squirty cream. Good move. It would normally take me a good couple of hours. I like to really check what I've got. Three minutes, 30, Mum. Also check the bargains as well. I didn't have time for any of that today. Your flames coming off the wheels, though. Hate decorations. Cake decoration. Cake decoration. Is that what we're going to be eating for the next two days? Cake decoration. Oh, she's crashed. Well, there has to be ah. a bit of cake decoration. Let's check out. Let's check out. And stop. I think I've done it. I think I've done the list. Who's oh, So have I passed? Well, your time was. 10 minutes and 58 and 63 oh, milliseconds. Yeah. You have faith. You will be getting a consequence. 58 seconds? That's nearly a minute. Oh. The Shaws head back to the boat with their shopping. Below deck, the boys explore the yacht captured on the Gimme a Break fam cam. 
The really clever thing is, see this tap? It doubles up as a shower. Oh yes. And then how you flush the toilet, you just flip that round, it had to pump. Is it hard? Yep. The Shores are about to make their first trip out to sea. So, it's time to meet their skipper. Hello, hi. My name is Sasha. I'm going to be your skipper for the next days. I'm going to teach you how to sail a little bit, so welcome on board. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. The family have left the shore for the sea. Only slowly. We have to keep on steering. To the right, we have starboard. Starboard. And on the left, we have uh, port. port. Exactly. Stern is the back. Stern is the, the back. The bow, bow is the, the bow is the front. The front. How many sails do we have on a sailing boat? Uh, Two. Exactly. The one on the mast is called the main sail. And the one in the front? Genoa. It's called the Genoa. Ah, did you know that a sea mile is actually longer than a land mile? Ah! We've never done anything like this before. We're loving every second of it. It's been excellent being a captain. You get to put up the main sail and the Genoa and you feel so on top of the world and really good. Four and a half nautical miles per hour. Mum has done a good job this morning, actually. She handled the boat well. Um, she did keep steering towards the shops, I think, but uh, we corrected her on that and she, she sailed in the right direction eventually. That's perfect. How am I doing, boys? A seven, maybe eight and a half. Look at that. I, I can feel we're already going faster and straighter. <laughs> Why, because you're driving? Yeah, yeah. So you're rating out of ten. I'll give him a, a ten. ten. Oh, wow. Somehow. Thank you very <laughs> much. I'm very picked on it. It's great being in control, actually. Enjoy it whilst it lasts. <laughs> now everyone's had a turn at the helm, it's time for some teamwork. Now, let's go. To pick up speed, Jono's in charge of raising the Genoa sail. My favourite bit was when I sailed with the Genoa sail up because it felt like you had so much power and you had so much freedom. It's a bit choppier. Mum and Dad keep praising us because they love the choice that we made. This holiday has to be the best holiday we've ever been on, ever. It's been fantastic being all together and, and working together as a team. Really, really good fun. The family continues sailing up the coast to their next destination and it's their first night at sea. You can hear the waves lapping up against the boat. It's very, like, steadily shaking. It's actually really relaxing from because it makes you tired. I can't wait till our activity tomorrow. Anyway, night. As Matt falls asleep and dreams of tomorrow's high ropes activity, the following day, Mom has a rude awakening. Look how high <laughs> that is. Enjoy. Oh, no. <laughs> We have done something similar in the UK before, actually, but Mum didn't actually take part. I'm here now today, and I'm willing to give it a go. OK, off we go. It's a bit show on the road. Mum, you're going to love it. The boys set off on the high ropes course, which is a series of bridges, swinging obstacles and a zip wire. Oh. Good boy. The boys are steaming ahead, but Mum's not so sure. I've always had a fear of heights. Here goes. It can be just going up into the loft on a little ladder. It could be as much as that. Whoa, this is quite high now. I'm up the ladder and it's feeling quite high. So this, for me, is a huge, huge challenge. Oh, Mum, it's easy. I'm doing it. I'm looking ahead. Easy. Not going to look down. I'm looking ahead. You all right there, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. You all right? I think that goes under there. Oh, wow. I haven't even looked down so far. Now I have. I've seen what I've got to do. Come on, Mum, you're doing really well. My legs are really shaking here. I don't like the feeling at all. Come on, Mum, you're doing excellently. Mum's lagging behind, while Matt has already reached the zip wire. Wow! It's so fun! My mouth is completely dry and it doesn't matter how much water I'm taking, my mouth is dry. I've got to get up. I've got to stand up. I'm going to try to conquer that fear. I'm not sure I can do this one. At one point, I think Mum was struggling a bit. I'm not sure I can do it. But we gave her encouragement, which I think um, kept her going. Come, Mum! OK, thank you. I can see a shoe shop at the end. Yay! Yay! I could do that. 
Now Jono's had his turn, it's only Mom left to complete the zip wire. But how will she cope? Come on, Mom, you could do the zip wire. It's not too hard. Three, two, one, go! You might need to start again at 100. Go! Is it going to be a dignified landing? Oh, you made it. Yeah. Oh, no. Do you have to stay no. there? I have a really good sense of achievement having just done that. Well done, round of applause. I didn't think she'd be able to do it because she'd never done anything like it before. Well done, you. Thank you. I hope that, that they've looked at me and thought she'd done it and for them, it's a nice feeling that actually I've done something with them together that they've always wanted me to do as a family. <laughs> oh, it's it's nice really to be well. back on the ground. So it's out of the sky and into the sea. Back on board, Matt's made a discovery. I spotted that reading on the boat. Dad, stop reading! <laughs> Yes, you have. That's not acceptable. With Mum failing the shopping challenge and now Dad reading, the boys have come up with a consequence for both of them. Okay. Do you like cold water dips? No. Well, that's what you'll be doing now. Now? In this harbour, in your clothes. Come on! One, two, two, three! Barcelona. While Mum and Dad dry off, the boys have something special in store. We've got a surprise for you. We're going to cook you a delicious meal for once. Okay, oh, that'd be great. This is what you've got to put on. Oh, no. Your nice <laughs> evening dress. This is lovely. <laughs> nice work, lads. Putting two rules into practice there taking control of the food and choosing what everyone wears. Dad, I'm going to do your hair. In fact, I'm going to give you some hair. <laughs> Finally, thank you. And also a lovely moustache for you. Oh, fantastic. Get some clothes on and look nice and posh and come back in a few minutes. So one teaspoon of olive oil is needed. I think our new outfits are very befitting of a, a glamorous harbour in northern Spain <laughs> in the sunshine. <laughs> I think we look really glamorous. Garlic, chopped tomatoes. The boys really haven't got a signature dish, have they? Nothing actually really springs to mind, doesn't no. it? They've never cooked on their own for me before, but um, so this is going to be a lovely, lovely treat for us. Wow, that looks fantastic. Wow. Thank you, boys. Well, cheers. Really cheers. cheers. Fantastic holiday. A glamorous evening. Mm. Be careful of my moustache. Mm. Mm. Really nice. Mm, delicious. You look good. Do I? Yeah. Very yeah. stylish. I look stylish, do I? Especially yeah. your hat. Is it difficult to eat, Dad, with It is hair? difficult to eat, yeah. I'm worried about eating my moustache. That's a first for Dad. Hair's mm -hmm. everywhere. <laughs> Does <laughs> 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 they look like the 1800s? <laughs> 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 it's a little more to breathe like this. Yeah. That are perfect. Oh yes, turn around. Oh yes, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave it like that, Dad. We're in charge. Hang on a minute. Fashion police are coming. <laughs> <laughs> Staring at us. I can't imagine why. <laughs> Can you believe what you're doing? No. The shores hit the high seas again for their last journey to Lestartit. It's a new day and a new harbour and one last surprise for Mum and Dad. See you. Have a nice day. Good morning, guys. My name's Steve. And I'm going to take you snorkelling on the Medis Islands Marine Reserve. Wow. Fantastic. And you're very, very lucky to be going out there this morning because we're going to go to a special part of the reef where the public don't normally tend to get the chance to go and see. Oh, OK? <laughs> so we're all very, very lucky and I can't wait to go out there. Just watch your hands, guys, while we come alongside. Just a short trip out to the island and they're ready for their wetsuits. <laughs> Now everyone's kitted out, it's time to take the plunge. <laughs> We've never gone snorkelling as a family before. I thought it was a really, really nice thing to do. Really bonding experience and I, I love doing it with the family. It's really hard to put into words. It was amazing. There was loads of fish. It's just a lovely feeling being in there together. I definitely have a feeling that we'd like to do this again. Before the 
Shaw's anchor up, there's one final treat to be won. Matt and Jono will go head-to-head -head with their parents in a battle to win a once-in-a-lifetime flight in an ultralight. Hola, Shaw family. I hope you've been enjoying the sea and sun. Now, if you want to be up in the air flying like a bird, you'll have to answer two out of three questions correctly. Mess it up and Mum and Dad will win. No, no, it's us. We're going to win. Don't be so sure. Mum and Dad were asked to agree on which activity they liked the most. Was it A, sailing, or B, snorkelling? I think it was snorkelling, because yeah. Mum really, really enjoyed that. Although Dad did say he loved the sailing, and Mum said that her favourite thing was snorkelling. Yeah. Should we go for snorkelling? Yeah. Yeah. We are going for B, snorkelling. This is what they said. Snorkelling. Yes! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nice work there, boys. Just one more question right and you'll be up in the sky. How are you feeling? Really good. Nervous. OK. How did Mum rate the high ropes out of ten? Ten being brilliant. Did she say A, ten out of ten, or B, seven out of ten? I think it would be seven. She was very nervous. Yeah. She was scared. Although she did say she wanted to do it again. So I'll I think we should go for ten. Ten, yeah. We're going for A, ten out of ten. Is that your final answer? Yes. yes. This is what they said. On a scale of one to ten, I'd rate the high ropes. It's got to be ten. Yes! Yes! yes. 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 Oh, oh, my sure family. Yes. Well done, lads. Enjoy the flight. I felt like I was like a bird flying over the sea. You really got a bird's eye view. The wind was gushing in your face and it was just so amazing. It was breathtaking, it really was. Our mum and dad have been really brilliant. They have given it their all. They just joined in everything and their real laugh, whether they embarrass themselves or not. Ultralight flying was amazing. You could see for miles. I would definitely swap uh, reading for sailing now. We've had a great time bonding on the boat. It's, it's something I'd consider for the future. Go! We've enjoyed such wonderful adventures together. I've loved every single moment of it. It's been fantastic. Hey. That's really good. Welcome to the Cartoon Works. Come inside to see CBBC's top cartoons and get a sneaky peek at some new stuff. But that's not all. We've got a whole factory to explore. Let me show you around. There's loads of games in our production line. If you're good enough and you spot all the hidden clues, you might even get to be boss. The cartoon works these new recruits. Come and join us at bbc.co.uk forward slash cbbc.